Hi everyone, I'm Mick. Welcome to my workshop. So today I am making an ashtray. Yeah, I know, exciting. Uh, and why in the world would I make an ashtray? But um, so this is kind of a specialized ashtray. I and a lot of my friends smoke cigars. And some of those friends smoke cigars when they drive, and they drive a lot. So there are commercially available ashtrays made specifically for cigar smokers that fit in your cup holder, but they all have uh, a few usability issues with them. And uh, I was talking with a buddy of mine named Drennan, who uh, is a kind of a gadget guy to begin with. Um, He's had all sorts of uh, really cool things made, uh, cigar smoking related, and um, we were talking about this, and I've actually been working on this now for over a year. Um, of course, there was about six months of that time taken off um, where I didn't do anything, but um, and the design has evolved greatly. Uh, However, I think the current design meets all of his needs and requirements and uh, is something that I can actually make in the shop. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to be making, um, it's not really an ashtray, but what it does is it turns those large uh, Rambler mug things, uh, I think Yeti came out with the style first and now they're uh, everywhere, you know, you can get them at Walmart and whatever. But they all, for the most part, there's a whole group of them that use the same, that are exactly the same size. And so the idea is, is to machine a top for it that fits into the top of the, the, the mug and turns it into a very large ashtray uh, with some features to hold your cigar and a lid to keep it closed when you're not it not using it, um, and uh, a place to help get the ash off of your cigars and things like that. So um, I bought some uh, aluminum four-inch round stock uh, that I'm using, and uh, let's get started. So I'm going to chuck this up in my three-jaw chuck. I had to use this set of jaws because the uh, other ones wouldn't uh, open wide enough. So I'm going to start by facing this end off.
put a new insert in this, the old one. <clears throat> I didn't look at it under magnification, but it's not doing a terrific job on this. So most of this is going to get cut away anyway. See how this insert does. Take it down and <coughs> set the zeros. So even swapping that insert out for a completely different brand didn't really change much. It was pretty much the DRO was was on. This one's a little off. All right, so. I'm going to take a skim pass. We need to go in 0.6875. So we need to go to 0.6875. Call it right there. get a sanity check with my calipers. Yep. I think I'm just going to make a little mark there. Down to there. Zero out my GRO. That's what I use that as my zero point. And now let's take this in ten thousand. Get a zero in the GRO. Let's see what that looks like. So we can look at it in the camera there. Looks like I have a 3.7. I gotta take off another point one on the diameter. Take a point. I take a couple light cuts and measure it again. I'm gonna go in.
We're going to put a nice, big, heavy chamfer on this edge and light one on this edge. So I need to bore the center <coughs> of this face out to 3 inch ID to a depth of 1.3125. So I'm going to start by uh, spot drilling. Oops. That's one way to get my point across. careful we don't go in more than 1.3125 that is on the tail stock to a 10 thou pass. And 
here. Now, if I go in point one two. Again. Now I'm going to go in point two, and that's where the O ring starts, gasket, whatever you want to call it. And that looks about right. I need to go in point zero eight one five. Okay, so I got it flipped around, <clears throat> got the uh, other jaws on, and I'm gripping it from the inside, which will work out better. And now I need to face off this, this side, get a measurement on it, because I need to turn, turn this diameter down. This diameter I want to leave as large as possible. I just want to clean it up. So I'll just take skim passes until I get all the way, uh, get all this stuff off and leave a nice finish. So let's start with that. Start by zeroing out. off. <clears throat> now, so this face is going to get parted off and it's going to be the lid which will flip around. So I think I'm going to put a heavy chamfer on this edge before I part it just so it's easier to hold. It's already in there. That should still leave me enough material to grip to finish the other side off, so let's go for it.
nice. Okay, let's get the tool post squared up again and part that off. Hopefully, when I bored out the inside of this, I went far enough that I don't have to part all the way through this thing. That was the goal. If it doesn't turn out to be the case, I think it's going to be time for the hacksaw. Success! Wow! Looks like I measured that about right. Even a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. Alright, now I've got a little bit more boring to do on this. To uh, go in here and create a uh, little shelf. I guess, if you will, inside there. And then we'll work on the lid. Now I've got to machine a V groove. This is the lid for the ashtray. It'll pivot. Um, and I need to mill a V groove across the center here. That'll be a place to rest your cigar. Uh, so I'm going to try setting this up on my fixture plate. Um, I did a video, in a, a previous video, on making this uh, bar so I can clamp it in my vise. So I've got that set up. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is use these pins that came with it to set up a reference point so something like that that I can push this piece up against and then clamp it and these two pins then I can use the uh, edge finder on these and locate the center because that will always go to the center and then I can just mill a V straight across there. I've got a, uh, a V groove in mill. Half inch, two flute, 90 degrees, carbide. Carbide? Cobalt. Uh, drill mill that I'm going to use. So. So uh, I'm going to get this set up and uh, get the edge finder in there and see how this works. Once again, I don't... Uh, I know I mentioned it in a previous video, but I don't know if I uh, if that part got edited out or not. But um, this uh, what do they call it again? Call it adapter uh, is great. It uh, gives you mul multiple different sizes, so you don't have to keep changing your call it or your yeah your call it to fit the uh, the edge finder. Um, it's made by Starrett, very high quality and uh, very very good purchase for a very inexpensive tool
All right, let's uh, mill V. I'm gonna take this down. Just gonna do a white scratch pass. It's a little chilly out here still today. Okay, let's just do 10 thou and do a scratch across there. I think we'll be okay. I haven't used this bit before. So uh, this end mill, not an end mill, this mill, drill mill. Alright, the tip looks good. So it didn't look like it was running concentric, but uh, just an optical illusion, I guess. Oh yeah. Alright. I'm just going to uh, finish this up and then we'll move on to the next step. The next thing I need to do to these parts is to drill and ream a hole in this face for this pen and I want it to be just a loose press into that hole um, so that it doesn't fall out uh, and you can't just easily pull it out with your fingers. A similar hole in this face and I want them to both both of those holes to be uh, the same distance from this edge with the goal being that that little post will be about right here and this part can swivel open like this or go the other direction in this case but that is uh, that's the goal um, and the hole in this surface should be a, uh, a clearance fit but tight enough so that when it's extended out here it's not rocking around or anything. So I've cut a little pin off on the bandsaw and I need to uh, this uh, I measured it with a, a mic and it is uh, 0.2355 so the first thing I need to do is get this into a collet and uh, clean up these ends straighten them out and put a little chamfer on both ends and then uh, we'll worry about uh, drilling these holes so let's spot drill Okay. All right, so my little project is done. So, got this in your car. This swivels open. Rest your cigar up here. Little edge right here. You can 
use to help knock the ash off of. When you're done, close it up and helps eliminate the ashes and the stink getting everywhere. So, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed my video, please subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Take care.